Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can earn every single perk in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies absolutely for free. There are Easter eggs and challenges across the map that are super easy to do and reward you with perks when you complete them. Before we start, a few things to keep in mind. I did this in the order that I felt was easiest for me when I spawned on the map. There is no required order. You have to get these in and you can get them every game. The only issue is you can only activate it once per game per squad. There's also no limit to the perks, so you can have every single perk at once, which is huge for tier three zones. Keep those things in mind as you go through this. I want to make this guide quick and easy for anyone watching, so you know what? Let's get into it right now, shall we? First one I'm going to show you is Quick Revive. Grab yourself an ATV and get to the road that's southwest of Hadika Farms. Once you're on that road, you'll see two large overhead road signs. For every one of these challenges, you'll see a toy rabbit, and in particular, the rabbit is on the top of these signs, so you'll know you're in the right place for Quick Revive. Take your ATV, park under the north sign facing towards the south sign. Once parked, you'll hear a laugh from the toy rabbit, like so. As soon as you hear that laugh, head straight for the other side. If you stop, run into anything, maybe hit a couple zombies that slow you down, then you probably won't make it in time and will need to try again. Don't freak out though, it's okay. Just repeat the process. You'll be completely fine. You can do it as many times as you need to. Make it to the other side quickly though, and you'll have yourself a nice little quick revive to assist you in healing yourself and rezzing your teammates. Next, let's see how to get PhD Flopper. PhD Flopper is very easy to get. Head over to Shaheen Manor and get ready to dive. The toy bunny, as we discussed before, will be sitting next to the pool at the manor. Climb to the top of the roof and dive off into the pool. Do it right and you'll get yourself a nice purple can of Flopper. I will say I missed once and nearly killed myself diving directly onto the hard pavement, so be careful when diving off. Also, I dove straight into the pool from the wooden canopy thing that's on the roof and was not given the perk, so you may have to be directly on the roof. Just wanted to point that out, just in case it mattered. Thirdly, time for some tombstone. Luckily, tombstone is super close to where PhD is located. This does require a scope on a weapon, but I was able to find an SBX with a scope right here at Shaheen Manor. Head west of Shaheen Manor and go to the building that is still under construction. Head to the top and aim with your scope at the toy rabbit on the crane like I am here. You'll ping the rabbit and it will jump scare you. Most guides leave this out as a joke, but I'm nice, so you're welcome. And that's it, tombstone acquired. What I will say is that when I initially pinged the rabbit, it didn't appear in front of me for a few seconds. There's like a little bit of a delay, it feels like, so just keep trying to ping. I also had to make sure I held my breath so my scope would stay steady as well, so just keep trying, you'll get it. Now let's get some stamina up. Please keep in mind this is a tier 2 zone, so be careful. A rare rarity weapon or even an upgraded weapon might be useful in case you run into any zombies. Head to Zaravan City, look for a tall building that's right across from this cafe bistro place. Hop through the window like so and go to the second door where you'll see a bunny at the bottom of the stairs. Run to the top as fast as you can. Don't stop sprinting. If you stop or start walking, etc., then it will not work so you can tack sprint or normal sprint and as long as you do that the whole time, you get some stamina. I didn't personally have any issues with this one. I feel like it's pretty easy as long as you sprint the whole time and the rabbit is there at the bottom of the stairs, you should have no issues. Now let's reach for some Juggernog at the campfire. For this one, you will need a Molotov. I personally just searched around until I found one, but if you have a better method, then by all means. This is also in a tier two zone, so please use caution. Located on the west side of the map, north of where we just got stamina up, you'll find a little campsite around where I put my marker. It's kind of like right in the middle. You'll see our favorite bunny sitting by the fire. Toss your Molotov in the middle of the fire and grab some jug. Pretty easy way to get some extra health, right? Nothing's really wrong with this one. Pretty simple. All that really matters is getting that Molotov, which surprisingly actually took me like an extra 10 minutes. So yeah, if you just find one along the way, you're getting the other perks, then definitely hold on to it and stow it in your inventory. Next, let's get some Death Perception. To find Death Perception, you'll head north to two large smokestacks. Climb the most west smokestack to the very top, and once at the top, you'll notice this weird ring structure southeast from you. Jump off and fly to the left side of the structure and go through each of the three rings. You'll notice Mr. Bunny sitting on the orb in the middle as well. Once you fly through all three, you'll get yourself some Death Perception, which is honestly one of my favorite perks in Modern for 3 Zombies. Getting this perk isn't too difficult, it's just a little bit wonky on like trying to get the right angle, but keep in mind that wherever you land is where the orb for the reward rift will also spawn. So that's a little bit nice that you don't have to go somewhere specific, you can kind of just fly off and land and then it should automatically spawn on you. 
Next, let's speed up our lives with some free speed cola. Again, a tier 2 zone, so be prepared if need be. Head just north of where we were for Juggernaut. You'll see what looks like a bird on the map when you zoom in. I'd suggest grabbing an ATV, but any vehicle can do this despite what some people say. I've tested this with a chop top, an SUV, and an ATV. All you have to do is take the ramp in front of you with the red arrow, land on the road below, and you'll get some speed. Cola. Sometimes, especially on an ATV, you can go too fast and completely clear the road, and other times you can go too slow like in an SUV and not even hit the road. Make sure you go all the way to the road to obtain the perk. Honestly, kind of fun and really easy. Finally, let's get some Deadshot Dacury. Wanted to make a quick disclaimer, my footage is broken up here, so it doesn't show me with all the perks in the game, but I promise you, there is no perk limit and you can receive them all in a single game. I just literally forgot in my other footage to grab Deadshot. For Deadshot, you'll want to head to the church on the east side of the map, close to the marker I have here. At the top of the church, our rabbit friend awaits an explosion. Sorry, for some reason I don't have footage of the rabbit, but if you climb to the top, you'll see him. We need to toss explosives through the window. I would suggest Simtexes because they are much easier and actually will stick to the surface. I tried grenades, but they kept bouncing back and just wouldn't work for me. Uh, you can bring Simtexes in if you have them unlocked, or you just find some on the map, which is what I personally had to do. Stand exactly where I'm at, hop on the rock and angle your Simtex just right, toss it in, and you'll get yourself some dead shot. Keep in mind, there is an ammo depot right in front of the church, so if you run out of Simtexes, just go refill at the depot, you'll be just fine. So, you're probably asking yourself, Nick, what about Elemental Pop? Well, Elemental Pop at the time of me making this video has not been discovered by the community and is currently unable to get for free. The only way that we know to get it is if you get lucky with completing a mission and get it from the perk power-up that you can sometimes receive, or if you go and purchase it from the machine itself. So, unless something else happens as far as it is for now, you cannot get Elemental Pop for free. So you can almost get every single perk, just not Elemental Pop. So with that, that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a comment with anything zombies related, and let me know if you enjoy zombies as well, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.